The Buccaneers are headed back to the NFC Championship game for the fourth time in franchise history, but to get there, they had to beat the New Orleans Saints last night. ABC Action News sports anchor Kyle Berger shows us how a New Orleans native played a big part in the win. Leonard Fournette went to high school right down the road from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, and last night he scored his very first touchdown in this building, helping the Bucs snap a five-game losing streak against the Saints, including Week 9's 38-3 loss. This is Leonard Fournette City. We got the last laugh, and Money Mac is the GOAT. That's all I got to say. It was always back in my mind how they embarrassed us. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, I'm a man first. You know, uh, I put all my time, my hard work into this game. You don't just forget things like that. It was quite the one-two punch for the Bucks' backs. Fournette with 63 yards rushing. Ronald Jones added 62. Fournette also had 44 receiving yards and a touchdown. Yeah, it was a good combination to have Roe healthy again, you know, and then Leonard playing really good. But it got the blocking unit did a great job of blocking these guys and uh, tight ends, especially last time we played them. Uh, our tight ends struggled with these big guys. The way the offensive line played, Leonard, Rowe, um, you know, it was just huge. All those guys came up big, and we talked about it all week, what we we're going to need to win to get it accomplished. And, you know, it's a, it's a long ways from last time we played these guys. And it was really two former LSU players that really put the dagger in the Saints season. It was Fournette's rushing ability and former LSU linebacker Devin White's big fourth quarter interception. The Bucks now go on to the NFC Championship game in Green Bay. In New Orleans, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.